academic integrity in the real world. At university campuses all over the country, students are busy learning the skills they need to make their dreams come true in the real world. Perhaps some of these students will be the great inventors, lawyers and doctors of the tomorrow. They have the advantage of being taught with the latest methods, state-of-the-art equipment and learning facilities. These students are learning new and valuable things each and every day. And isn't it much more fun to learn actively? Well, years later and universities have changed. We teach differently and online technologies have introduced completely new places to learn. But some things haven't changed. Learning still requires time and effort. So taking shortcuts with your studies can get you into trouble. Let's go down to Sam's and get a hamburger. I can't, Jim. I've got homework to do. Oh, don't worry about it. You've got plenty of time. Okay, let's go get a hamburger. I'll see you in a minute. And you know what happens when you take shortcuts. Isn't this something like a lie detector? So, academic integrity is simply being honest about how you engage with new ideas. This means you, and you, and you. Being honest is working smarter to become competent in your profession. What this means is that you do the hard work of learning now so that you can succeed later. And learning happens best when you are encouraged to share your ideas, discuss and analyze new information and collaborate with other students. But because of this, sometimes it can be hard to see the boundaries between your own ideas and the ideas of others. Academic misconduct can occur when you fail to recognize this. What's the answer to number nine? So, let's see if you understand where the boundaries lie when we play Know Your Boundaries. All right, player one. Your lecturer wants you to build on the ideas of other people to show your learning. How will you do this? Answer the following questions. Question one. Which of these needs to be cited and referenced? A. An idea from an online article. B. An image from a website. C. The words of an expert from a book. D. A diagram from lecture notes on Blackboard. E. All of the above. That's right! All of these need to be referenced so that you can show that you've used evidence to support your thinking. Next, question two. What is the best way to put the words of an expert in your assignment? A. Quoting, word for word. B. Paraphrasing, in your own words and changed substantially from the original. C. Summarizing, a very brief mention in your own words. D. All of the above. E. Only A and C. Hmm. <laughs> Quoting is great for particular phrases that you feel are perfectly expressed, but paraphrasing is a good way to show that you've understood the ideas of experts. Summarizing is also appropriate if you only want to mention the expert briefly, so in fact any of these are correct as long as you cite the original author. Don't get down on yourself, get this next question right and you'll be in the driver's seat. Question 3. Study groups are great for A. Catching up on information from lectures that you've missed B. Discussing ideas from tutorials that you didn't understand C. Brainstorming how to find information for assignments D. Writing your individual assignments with help from friends E. All of the above except D. That's correct! Study groups are a great place to catch up on things you've missed or misunderstood. But you can also discuss your research and assignments as long as you write them on your own. Listen carefully to question four. What is the best way to avoid collusion? No help from the audience, please. A. Don't get caught. B. Never talk to anyone about your ideas and only share your assignments with close friends. C. 
Talk with others about your ideas first, but then write assignments by yourself. D. All of the above, depending on context. That's right! If you understand where your ideas end and where those of others begin, it will help you draw the boundaries around your learning. Congratulations! Hang on there, you forgot your bonus question. We want to make sure you know what is and isn't allowed in the exam room. So, your bonus question is... In the exam you're headed to right now, what exactly are you permitted to bring with you? If you've prepared, you shouldn't have any problems. Calculator, research notes, subject book, none of these or all of these. Remember, all exams are different. So knowing this basic information in advance will help avoid confusion about rules and requirements. For instance, always check what day your exam is. Looks like you both need some help. Take a seat and we can show you some simple strategies to keep you on easy street to academic integrity at university. The first step is to take responsibility for your learning. Be aware of the citation and referencing style for each of your subjects. QUT CiteWrite can help you. And with each new assignment, check what is required of you. Some assignments at uni will require you to work as part of a team, but in others, you will be assessed individually. The next step is to carefully organise your time and ideas to avoid any unintentional breaches of academic integrity. When reading, use a system to record the necessary details. This will help you to keep track of all the information that you gather for an assignment. Colour coding your notes or using a careful note-taking system can assist in creating a trail of where the information has come from. Importantly, plan out your time so that while researching, writing and editing, you don't get overwhelmed by impending deadlines. Be careful to take the time to check the accuracy of your citations and references. Errors can occur when you work under pressure. Oh, I'll get by all right. If I have trouble, you'll help me again, won't you? So, leave enough time ahead of your deadline to check your work. And remember, if any of this is new to you, just ask for help from your friendly tutors, lecturers, library staff and the many, many other helpful people at university. This way, the degree you receive at the end of your university life will be a true reflection of what you know and what you can do in the real world.